Hello, friends. Good morning to all of you. So, hope you all are doing good. Practicing sincerely for the coming uh, exams, this board and uh, J exams and NEET exams. So, uh, we were discussing conic sections and we have covered our uh, circles and parabola, right? So, uh, today we will start the next conic that is ellipse. So, uh, without uh, wasting any time, Let's start. So yeah, this is a exercise one of our ellipse chapter. Okay. So here comes the first question. It is saying that the length of major axis of the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to one is three times the length of the minor axis then its eccentricity is. So uh, the given ellipse is our standard ellipse that is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. Now it is saying that the length of major axis. Okay. So I am taking, suppose I am taking this a is greater than b. So what will be the length of major axis? The length of major axis will be 2a. And it is given to be 3 times the length of minor axis. So 3 times length of minor axis. This is what is provided in the question. Now we have to find the eccentricity of this ellipse. So from here, if you see, a is coming out to be 3b, right? And what is our eccentricity? We know that e square is equal to 1 minus b square upon a square. So 1 minus b square upon a square. In place of a square, I can write 9b square. So this b square, b square got cancelled. And we will be left with 9 minus 1, that is 8 upon 9. So this is our e square. Now, what will be e? What will be e? It will be root 8 upon 3. Okay, root 8, we can write it as 2 root 2 upon 3. Okay, it cannot be negative because the eccentricity is the ratio of distance, right? It's the distance, uh, ratio of the distance. So, eccentricity cannot be negative. So, this will be our answer. Now, if anyone wants that uh, this b, why I have taken a is greater than b, you can take b is also, uh, you can take b greater than a, and then also you can uh, apply the given condition and you will be having the same uh, eccentricity as answer. Remind me, in that case, our major axis will be 2b and our minor axis will be 2a, right? So here our answer is c. 2 root 2 upon 3. Okay. So moving to the next question. This is question number 2. The equation x square upon 10 minus a plus y square upon 4 minus a equal to 1 represents an ellipse. If. Okay. So the question is saying this curve x square upon 10 minus a plus y square upon 4 minus a is equal to 1. This is representing an ellipse. So for this curve to represent an ellipse, this 10 minus a, if you compare it with our standard ellipse, that is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. So this denominator and this, the things in the denominator, this must be greater than 0. This must be greater than 0. This b square should also be uh, greater than 0. Right? So I will apply the same condition here. This 10 minus a, this 10 minus a should be greater than 0. So from here what we get, 10 is greater than a or we can say a is less than 10. Right? And uh, from here if you see this 4 minus a, this should also be greater than 0. So uh, this 4 should be greater than a or we can say a is less than 4. Now we have to take the intersection of these two uh, values of a. 
So A is less than R. Okay, and from here you see A is less than 10. So what you can say, A should be less than four. Taking the intersection, taking the intersection, we can say the value of A should be less than four. Is it okay? The value of A should be less than four for this curve to represent an ellipse. So this is our answer, right? Now let's take the next question. Question number three. It is saying the eccentricity of an ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to one, whose lattice rectum is half of its major axis. So let me write the ellipse that is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to one. So what I will uh, assume, I will assume this A is greater than B. Again, if you want to assume B greater than A, you can do, not an issue. So considering this, what will be the length of lattice rectum for this ellipse? What will be the length of lattice rectum for this ellipse? It will be two times B square upon A, right? Two times B square upon A. And uh, what will be the major axis for this ellipse? What will be our major axis? Since A is greater than B, the major axis will be 2A. Now, as per given condition, this 2 times B square upon A, this lattice rectum is half of its major axis, half of its major axis. So in this condition, we have to find the eccentricity. So from here, if you see, we got a square, I am cross multiplying. So a square is equal to 2b square, right? And we know for this ellipse, what is our eccentricity? Eccentricity square is equal to 1 minus b square upon a square. So 1 minus b square, I am writing as it is, and I am writing a square as 2b square. So this b square b square term will get cancelled out and from here we will get e square is equal to half. Okay, so our eccentricity will be 1 by root 2. Our eccentricity will be 1 by root 2. Now suppose if you want to take b greater than a, yeah, some student may uh, say, sir, why you are taking a greater than b? So uh, let me take b greater than a. So x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to one. Now this time I am taking b is greater than a. So in this situation, what will be our lattice rectum? Our lattice rectum will be two times a square upon b, mind it. Here it was b square upon a, here it will be two times a square upon b. And in this condition, what will be our major axis? it will be, since b is greater than a, so major axis will be 2b, right? Now, as per given condition it in the question, it is 2 into a square upon b is half of the major axis, right? So here, what we get, here we get uh, p square is equal to 2a square, okay? Now, in this situation, our eccentricity will be 1 minus a square upon b square. For this ellipse, it was 1 minus b square upon a square. For this ellipse, it will be 1 minus a square upon b square. That is 1 minus a square, let it be as it is. And uh, our b square will be 2 times, 2 times a square. So this will be got cancelled. It will be 1 by 2. So from here also, we get eccentricity as 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 will be answer to this question, right? Now let's take this next question, question number four. If the eccentricity of an ellipse is one by root two, then its lattice rectum is equal to. Eccentricity for ellipse is given as one by root two. And we have to find its lattice rectum. We have to find its lattice rectum, okay? So what is lattice rectum basically? Lattice rectum is 2 times b square upon a, right? And eccentricity 
what we can write eccentricity as, or you can square it. E square is equal to one by two. And E square, we can write it as one minus B square upon A square is equal to one by two. <clears throat> so from here, we get A square minus B square is equals to A square. Uh, and this thing whole, it will be multiplied by two, right? So 2A square minus 2B square is equal to A square. Or we can say A square is equal to 2 times B square. This is the relation what we got. So now putting the value here, we will put the value here. We will get 2 times B square upon A. So B square in place of B square, what we can say? This, this is nothing but we can write B square as A square upon 2, right? So put this value. So B square upon A, or I am putting this B square as A square upon 2. And already A, 1A was here. So A, A will get cancelled out. This 2 and 2 will get cancelled out. So we are left with A. So our latest rectum is equals to A. And what is A? It is the semi-major axis. Semi-major axis, right? Semi-major axis because here we have considered A is A is greater than B for this ellipse. Therefore, that's why the uh, we have calculated the length of lattice rectum as two times B square upon A. So our lattice rectum will be equal to semi-major axis. That is option A. Okay. Now moving to the next one, question number five. If the distance between the foci of an ellipse is equal to minor axis, then its eccentricity is. If the distance between foci of the ellipse means distance between uh, foci is given to us and it is given to be equal to uh, minor axis. Okay, so what is the distance between the uh, focuses or distance between foci? Distance between foci of ellipse is equals to 2AE, right? If you let me draw, let me draw a rough diagram for this. So suppose I'm taking this ellipse, okay? And let me draw the major and minor axis for this. <clears throat> okay. So this is our, suppose this is our first foci. We already know, we all know that ellipse has two focuses, right? And we call it as this, if we call it as S, we normally call this focus as S dash. And uh, uh, the coordinates of S is what? A, E, comma, 0, right? And the coordinates of H dash is minus A, E, comma, 0. So what is the distance between foci? It is equal to 2 A, E, this distance. We are talking about th this distance. So this will be 2 A, E, right? If the distance between foci of an ellipse is equal to its minor axis, okay? Minor axis. So here we are considering A is greater than B, okay? So uh, minor axis is this thing basically, this, this, uh, right, this will be our minor axis and it's, uh, this, its length is basically 2B. So in, as per question, it is given that this 2AE, the distance between two foci is equal to its uh, minor axis. And what is minor axis? That is 2B. So this 2, 2 got cancelled out. We we'll, are left with AE is equal to B. Now we have to find the eccentricity, right? We have to find eccentricity. So this will be what can we write here? A squaring it, what we will get A square E square is equal to B square. 
Now a square in place of e square, I will write 1 minus b square upon a square is equal to b square. So this a square and this a square minus b square is equal to b square. So this a square, a square will get cancelled out and we will have a square is equal to 2b square. This one relation we got as per given information in the question, right? Now what I will do, further uh, we need to find the eccentricity. So eccentricity of the ellipse will be 1 minus b square upon a square. This is our e square. So 1 minus b square, b square let it be as it is and a square we can write it as 2b square. So our eccentricity square will be equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2. So our eccentricity will be 1 by root 2. Is it okay? So same, similar type of questions we are getting. Okay. So this will be B, right? So I hope everyone has got the answers correctly. Okay. Like before uh, seeing this video, I, uh, I assume that all have, all the students have tried the questions by themselves first, then we, then they have come to this video. Okay, so let's take the next question. This is question number six. It is saying the eccentric angle of a point on the ellipse this, whose distance from the center of ellipse is two is. Okay, eccentric angle of a point. So we have to draw a diagram for this. So let me say, this is our ellipse, okay. And I will draw one auxiliary circle for this ellipse, right? Okay, so this is our auxiliary circle for this ellipse. Now I will also draw this axis of the ellipse, right? Now there is one catch in this question, which uh, I think uh, many students make mistake on that. So, okay, let me first write the names. So this uh, given ellipse is x square upon six plus y square upon two is equal to one. So here uh, a is greater than b. So it will be a horizontal axis and its center will be at 0 comma 0. So this will be our y coordinate and this will be our x coordinate. Now, one point is given on the ellipse uh, whose center from, whose distance from the center is 2. Okay. So uh, let me assume that point as this point, this point as P. Okay. And its distance is given out to be Two from the from the center. So what will be center for this? What will be center for this ellipse? Center will be our origin, right? It is in the standard form. The uh, the given ellipse is of a standard form only. So uh, this distance. Let me show you first which distance I am talking about, or the question is talking about. So. This distance is given to be 2. Now, many students make a mistake and they say that the, eccentric, that the eccentric angle of this point, suppose I'm taking it as a theta, okay. So this will be our theta, the angle made between this OP, this I'm writing it as angle POX. P O X. Many students assume this to be theta, but it is wrong. It is wrong. This is not the eccentric angle of the point. Basically, what we will do, we will extend this point P. Okay. We will extend this point P 
and wherever this point will meet the auxiliary circle that angle will be called as theta this angle will be called as theta right so let me show you in this diagram so this if the uh, eccentric angle of this point is theta so the angle this this angle let me uh, write it as q so this angle angle q o x this will be equal to theta this is the right interpretation this is the correct interpretation this is wrong interpretation so please keep it in mind and this op as per question if you see this op is given to be equal to 2 it's it is this information is given in the question the distance from center of ellipse is 2 right now we have to find this theta basically we have to find this theta so if you see uh, this coordinates of p this coordinates of p we can write it as a cos theta and what is a here if you see it uh, a square is equal to 6 and this b square is equal to b square is equal to 2 right so any point on the ellipse i can assume it as uh, a cos theta that means from here we get a as root 6 and from here we get b as a root 2 so this will be a root 6 or uh, let me write it as a cos theta and a sin theta sorry a cos theta comma b sin theta as of now okay and we will put the value later on if required so our op if you see uh, this op so this is a distance so i am squaring it so that uh, that square root term will be gone right so op square will be equal to 4 now what will be op square this will be a cos theta minus 0 chi square. I'm writing that also. And uh, b sin theta minus 0 chi square. That will be equal to 4, right? So from here we get a square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta is equal to 4, right? Now we know the value of a square that is 6, 6 sorry 6 cos square theta okay and what is the value of b square that is 2 2 and instead of sin square theta what i will do i will write 1 minus uh, cos square theta right 1 minus cos square theta and that minus 4 oh, i am taking 4 also here so minus 4 is equal to 0 so we are left with 6 cos square theta minus 2 cos square theta right so that will be 4 cos square theta and plus 2 plus 2 from here and minus 4 that is minus 2 or you can say 4 cos square theta is equal to 2 and here we got cos square theta is equals to 1 by 2 so this is what we got cos square theta is equals to 1 by 2 so what will be the value of cos theta so our cos theta will be equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 this is our cos theta so this theta is coming out to be plus minus when does cos theta gives 1 by root 2 that is uh, theta will be equal to cos inverse 1 by root 2 that will be pi by 4 on cos uh, on pi by 4 we get the value of cos theta as 1 by root 2 now this q point can be here also no that's why this is coming out to be now this q point can be in the fourth quadrant also right so in this case this will be our minus theta hence we will get the two values of eccentric angle that is plus minus pi by 4 okay so uh, this option a and option b both are correct in this case right
hope it is clear to all and you are aware like you got the uh, this theta thing like what is the eccentric angle of a point if that point is lying on ellipse so that point doesn't make like the line joining the point and center and the angle between that uh, what do you say that line and the positive direction of x axis doesn't give the this eccentric angle however we extend this point p right we extend this point p and uh, we allow to cut it as point uh, cut it at a point on the auxiliary circle now when this q point is joined with the center of the uh, ellipse or uh, the center of the auxiliary circle since both these auxiliary circle and this ellipse are concentric so the angle between this oq and positive direction of x axis or angle between this oq and ox will give us the eccentric angle right so this was for this question now let's take the next one question number 7 okay so if tan alpha tan beta is equal to minus a square upon b square then the chord joining the two points alpha comma beta on the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 will subtend a right angle at okay like one chord is given here right so let me draw one rough diagram for this so this is our chord okay. let me draw auxiliary circle also for better understanding so basically if you see we are given uh, with one chord so uh, let me uh, take this chord as pq okay so i am taking this chord as uh, chord as pq now the uh, eccentric angle right the eccentric angle of this point p is alpha and the eccentric of angle of this point q is beta and in question it is given as tan alpha into tan beta is equal to minus of a square upon b square again here also if you see what will be angle alpha basically this will be angle alpha right this will be angle alpha just for sake of understanding i am showing you and similarly for beta uh, if you extend this point okay and if you join this point then this will be beta so hope uh, everyone is clear on this right so we will use this information uh, where, wherever required but uh, in question it is given that this tan alpha into tan beta is equal to uh, minus a square upon b square right so uh, let me draw it uh, neatly okay everything is getting uh, rubbed off okay then leave it leave it we will see if required we will see now this chord is making uh, then the chord joining two points like we have to find this chord is making an right angle at which point like uh, this is our center of the circle sorry center of the circle and center of the uh, ellipse or center of auxiliary circle same thing because both uh, this auxiliary circle and this uh, ellipse are concentric okay and uh, end of major axis like this and this is the end of minor axis so these four options are given here and uh, we have to check where we are where this chord is making an angle of 90 degree or subtending an angle of 90 degree so let me check with this let me check with point o okay so 
the coordinates of P will be, it's a centric angle is uh, alpha. So it will be A cos alpha, right? And B sine alpha. And what will be the coordinates of Q? It's a centric angle is beta. So it will be A cos beta comma B sine beta. Is it okay? Now let me join these two points. Let me join these two points, this O and P. Okay, and let me join these two points, O and Q. Okay, so now what will I will do? I am trying to find the slope of OP, right? The slope of OP will be basically Y1 minus Y2, that is B sine alpha minus zero upon A cos alpha. Is it clear? So it will be nothing but B upon A sine alpha all, uh, upon cos alpha will give me tan alpha. Now what will be slope of OQ? What will be the slope of OQ? It will be B sine beta, right? Upon A cos beta. Is it okay to everyone? So it will be B by A upon tan uh, into tan beta right now what we can do we can multiply both these slopes slope of op into slope of oq because it will contain tan alpha into tan beta and we are having the value of tan alpha minus tan beta so if you see this slope of op into slope of oq that will be equal to what uh, b upon a tan alpha into B upon A tan beta, right? So it will be B square upon A square and tan alpha into tan beta. What is this value equal to? As per question, it is equal to minus of A square upon B square. So this will be B square upon A square into minus of A square upon B square. Right, so this b square b square got cancelled. This a square a square got cancelled, and this is a come equal to minus one. So the slope of op into slope of oq, what we got, we got it as minus one. So this angle basically, this angle is equal to ninety degrees. So what does it imply basically? What does it imply? This op is perpendicular to OQ. And what is O? O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle. So it is making an angle of 90 degree at the center of the ellipse or the center of the circle. O is the center of ellipse. Right? So this will be our answer. This option B is correct. Right. Okay. So question number seven is done. We take the next one, question number eight. So if the eccentricity of two ellipse x square upon one six nine plus y square upon twenty five equal to one and x square plus upon y square plus y square upon b square equal to one are equal. Okay, so two ellipse equations are given to us and it is saying that the eccentricity of both ellipses are equal. Then we have to find this ratio A upon B. Okay, so let's go with whatever is given in the question. So uh, our first ellipse is given as what? X square upon 169 plus y square upon 25 is equals to 1, right? This is our first ellipse. And our second ellipse is what? Let me write here only. x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1. Now, what will be the eccentricity for this ellipse? What will be the eccentricity for this ellipse? Let me represent it as a small e1. So, here A is greater than B, right? Here A is greater than B. It means the eccentricity, we can give its eccentricity as E1 square as 
1 minus b square upon a square. So this will be 1 minus what is b square? 25 and what is a square? 169. So 169 minus 25. How much? 144, 54, 64. So it will be 144 upon 169, right? So we got the value of E1 as 12 upon 13. Is it okay? We got the value of E1 as 12 upon 13. Now, what will be the eccentricity for this ellipse? It will be 1 minus B square upon A square. Is anything known upon for this A and B? No. So, same thing we can write it as um, A square minus B square, right? Under root of A square minus B square upon A. Is it okay? Now, in the question, it is given, uh, given as both these uh, both the eccentricities are equal. So, given that in the question it is given that E1 is equal to E2. Now, square it also. It will give uh, the same. So, I am writing this E1 square is equal to E2 square. Okay. So, E1 square we got as 144 upon 169. And what is uh, our E2 square? Mm. E2 square, uh, why I have put in, uh, why I have put this square root here. So basically, this is what we got E2. So anyhow, uh, I will take E2 square only. I don't want to deal with this square thing. So this will be basically, E2 square will be our A square minus B square upon A square. Is it okay? Or we can write it as, or we can write it as uh, this this thing same thing we can write it as 144 upon 169 is equal to 1 minus b square upon a square is it okay 1 minus b square upon a square that we can further write it as uh, b square upon a square is equal to 1 minus 144 upon 169. That will be 169 and 169 minus 144 will be equal to 25. So our ratio B upon A will be equal to under root of 25 upon 169. That is nothing but B upon A is equal to 5 upon 30. 5 upon 30. Okay. So uh, till now we are getting just uh, basic questions, formula based questions, right? <clears throat> so it's not that much difficult. I have seen uh, many students like who skip this uh, ellipse and hyperbola part because uh, till uh, parabola they like they like do the uh, questions, do the practice the questions, but after this uh, uh, they lift uh, like they. Uh, leave this coordinate uh, geometry part, right? So it's not like that. It's uh, this ellipse and hyperbola part is also uh, very easy. So don't worry. We will uh, take our journey to uh, this ellipse and uh, hyperbola also. So you just uh, keep on uh, practicing the questions and if any difficulty you can ask uh, in the class or in the center itself. So we can discuss this and this uh, Arihant's uh, uh, solution I am providing you all. So it's not that much tough, this ellipse part, right? So now let's see the next one. The ratio of the areas of triangle inscribed in the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 to that of the triangle formed by the corresponding points on the auxiliary circle is 1 by 2. Okay. Now here uh, the question is asking something on auxiliary circle and it is saying that the eccentricity of the ellipse. Okay. So uh, let me plot the diagram for this. Okay. So 
this is our ellipse let me draw the auxiliary circle for this ellipse okay okay a little bit small yeah it will work so this is our ellipse oh sorry sorry take a straight line so this is the axis of the ellipse this will be basically coordinate axis only okay because the center of this uh, ellipse is origin so this is our y axis this is our x axis now now let's look at the triangle the ratio of the areas of the triangle inscribed in the ellipse. Okay, so we have to draw a triangle which is inscribed in the ellipse. Okay, and further we have to draw one more triangle which is inscribed in the auxiliary circle because the area, ratio of the areas of both these triangles are given and we are asked to find the eccentricity of the ellipse. Okay, so we have to draw one triangle that is inscribed in the inscribed in the ellipse so uh, can you figure it out like which will be the most simplest case because i don't want to uh, go in the uh, difficulties so what i will do i will draw the triangle sorry I will draw the triangle which is inscribed in the ellipse. Okay, which is inscribed in the ellipse. I will take these points, this uh, vertices of this ellipse as the uh, two vertices of triangle and I will take this point. So let me first write this. So for this ellipse, if you see, this will be let me name it as a and this is our a dash so this a a dash is the major axis of the ellipse right and uh, let me write it as point um, b and b dash okay and uh, what i am uh, trying to convey what i am trying to do is i will be making triangle taking these points a a dash and b as the vertices of the triangle like why i am taking this because we we know like let me draw this thing also because we know the vertices of these three points is it okay so this ellipse if you see this ellipse is x square upon a square okay plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. What I am assuming, I am assuming this uh, to be a horizontal ellipse. That means the coordinates of this b, uh, this coordinates of a will be a comma 0. Is it okay? And what will be the coordinates of this a dash? It will be minus a comma 0. It will be minus a comma zero. And what will be the coordinates of this point B? It will be zero comma B. And we can uh, either take this B dash also. Its coordinate is zero comma minus B. So that triangle uh, can be formed with uh, this B A A dash taking as the vertices or B dash A A dash taking as the vertices. So it's not like that you can take a point anywhere uh on the ellipse and uh, corresponding point on the auxiliary circle but for the sake of uh, simplicity i have taken this point as b so i hope it is clear so uh, this is one triangle okay which is inscribed in the uh, ellipse this uh, let me write it as triangle uh, this triangle uh, a dash a dash b a that triangle is inscribed in inscribed in ellipse right this triangle is 
inscribed in ellipse. Now, we have to draw one more triangle. Okay. And uh, that triangle should be, that point on the auxiliary circle should be corresponding point of B. So what will be the corresponding point of B? It will be somewhere here. So let me uh, change the color, change the color of this triangle. So that corresponding point will be here. Right. So uh, let me name it as, uh, name this as C. Okay. Now, what will be the coordinates of this C? This is the uh, center. This is the center of the ellipse and center of the, uh, what you say, auxiliary circle. So if you observe this OC, this OC will be equal to radius, the radius of the auxiliary circle. Radius of the auxiliary circle and it will be equal to OA and it will be equal to OA that will be nothing but equal to A. So this OC will be equal to A. Uh, and this triangle, this triangle was inscribed in ellipse and this triangle A dash, A dash, C A, this triangle, if you see, this triangle is inscribed in the, this triangle is inscribed in the auxiliary circle. Right? So uh, as per given information in the question, the ratio of the areas of these two triangles, right? So let me write the area of this triangle, right? Area of triangle A dash B A. So it will be half times base into height. So what is the base? Base is 2A and what is the height? Height is O B. Height is OB and uh, that height will be equal to B, right? So it will be equal to AB. And what will be the area of triangle A dash CA, A dash CA? That will be half into base, base is same to A. And what will be height here? Height in this case will be equal to A. That is equal to A square. Now, as per given information, what we can do, we can write this area of triangle A dash B A that is A B upon A square is equal to 1 by 2. Okay, so from here what we got, we got this ratio B upon A is equal to 1 upon 2. Okay. Now we have to find the eccentricity of this triangle, uh, this ellipse. So we very well know that the eccentricity squared is equal to 1 minus b square upon a square. That will be 1 minus b by a whole square. That is 1 by 4. b by a whole square will be equal to 1 by 4 or that will be equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 will be 3 by 4. Hence, our eccentricity we get as root 3 upon 2. So, the eccentricity for this ellipse will be equal to root 3 upon 2. Right? So, this question involved the concept of this auxiliary circle. So, what will be this corresponding point of B? It will be moving parallel to the axis, right? It will be moving parallel to the axis and wherever this point joins the auxiliary circle, that will, that will be the corresponding point of this B. So hope it is clear to all. So now take, let's take the next one. Oh my God. Mm, I think I forgot to... Paste the questions. Okay. Uh, no worries. Just give me. Just give me a few. 
Just give me a few seconds. I will add it. Right, I will add it. Yeah, so here we go. I have added the questions, right? So after question nine, okay, I have uh, added the full questions of this exercise. So yeah, please take, uh, please take this question number 10. It is saying if PSQ is a focal chord of the ellipse 16x square plus 25y square equal to 400, such that SP is equal to 16, then the length of SQ. So basically it is asking uh, the length of the, the segments of the focal chord. So for better understanding, uh, let me draw this ellipse, okay? Let me draw this ellipse and I will draw the axis also for this ellipse. Okay, and uh, let me draw one focal chord. So I'm drawing this focal chord PQ. Okay, so this is our focal chord PQ. So what does this focal chord means? Means this PQ will pass through the will pass through the focus one of the focus of this ellipse now let's try to write uh, rewrite this uh, ellipse in our standard form so basically if you see uh, the 16 x square plus 25 y square is equal to 400 right so uh, dividing both sides by 400 what i will get x square upon 16 to 32 16 5 is 80 plus uh, y square upon 16, right, is equals to 1. So basically, uh, the given ellipse is nothing but uh, this ellipse. Where, uh, okay, so here a square is equal to 25, right? I hope this is this all things are uh, clear to everyone. So uh, b square for this ellipse will be equal to 16. Okay, I have written it. Uh, we will use it whenever required in the question. Okay. Uh, now this SP length, now this SP length is given out to be, this SP length is given out to be 8, if I am not wrong. No, it's uh, given out to be 16. So this SP is 16 units and we have to find the length of SQ. We have to find the length of SQ. Now, one very important property one very important property of this uh, ellipse. Let me remind you all that this PQ, this PQ is the focal chord. What does it mean? What does it mean? The semi lattice rectum, semi lattice rectum will be the harmonic mean harmonic mean of a segments of focal chord segments of focal chord focal chord this is the property i am talking about this is the one of the important property of ellipse the length of semi uh, lattice rectum will be will be the harmonic mean of the segments of focal chord now, what does it mean basically? The semi lattice rectum, if you observe, okay, uh, let me uh, write the details for this uh, ellipse. So, this is our x axis, this is our y axis, okay. And uh, what will be the uh, length of semi lattice rectum? Okay, semi lattice rectum, if you uh, see our lattice rectum. For this, uh, for this ellipse, since a is greater than b, it will be two times b square upon a, right? Therefore, uh, the length of semi lattice rectum will be half of this two times b square upon a. This two and two we got cancelled out. It will be equal to b square upon a, right? 
So as per given property, as per this property, what can we say? As per this property, what can we say? This B is square upon A and uh, or you can say, uh, you can write in this way, this SP, okay? This SP, the segment of the focal cord, SP, this B square upon A and this SQ, these three things will be in harmonic progression. These three things will be in harmonic progression. The same property, the same property what I have mentioned here, I have written the same thing, but in a different way. So from here, if you see this B square upon A will be equal to two times, two times SP into SQ upon SP plus SQ. Is it okay? Is it okay to everyone? So suppose this ABC is in harmonic progression. So what we used to write, we used to write this B as 2AC upon A plus C. 2AC upon A plus C. Right? This we have already learned in our sequence sensory chapter. So this B is the harmonic mean of this uh, A and C and its value is given as 2AC upon A plus C. Same thing I have written here. So if you see here, we know the value of this SP. So this will be, okay, let me write here only. Let me write in the next line. Okay, so this B square, okay, we can put the value of B square and A also. So B square, you see, B square is uh, nothing but 16. Okay, and what is A? A is equal to five. And uh, two, this will be two times SP. SP is given out to be 16. So put that value 16. This will be SQ and SQ what we need to uh, find it out. So SP again, 16 plus SQ. Hope it is clear. So this 16 and this 16 will get canceled out. So we will have this 16 plus SQ, 16 plus SQ cross multiplying and cross multiplying. And this will be 10 times of SQ. Is it okay? So from here, what we get? Uh, 10 minus that is 9 times of SQ, 9 times of SQ is equal to 16 or our SQ length will be equal to 16 upon 9. So this will be the length of SQ, 16 upon 9. So option D is correct. So what is the property? The semi-lattice rectum, the semi-lattice rectum of a uh, ellipse will behave as a harmonic mean of the segments of any focal cord of the given ellipse, right? So in this case, PQ is the focal cord, right? And this SP and SQ are the segments of that focal cord. So using the property, we have written this thing, SP, B square upon A and SQ will be in the harmonic progression, right? So I uh, advise all of you to remember this property. Sometimes uh, J directly asks questions based on the properties itself okay so yeah now let's check this question let p be a variable point on the ellipse this okay so it will be a horizontal uh, ellipse because a is greater than b here with foci s and s test if a be the area of triangle p is s test then the maximum value of a then the maximum value of A. Okay, so oh. let me draw the ellipse first. Okay, so this is our ellipse. These are the axis of the ellipse. And P is a variable point on the ellipse, right? P is the variable point on ellipse. So let me take this point as P and uh, S and S dash. So we have to make a triangle with the point P and both the focuses. Okay. So let me assume this focus to be here. Right. So this is our focus for the one focus and this is our second focus. 
okay so we have to basically we have to find the maximum value of the area of this triangle right so this is our point p this is our first focus s and this is our second focus s dash right and we are talking about area of this triangle and p is any variable point on the ellipse so what is our ellipse our ellipse is uh, x square upon 25 plus y square upon 16 is equals to 1 right and p is any point so normally what we do for assuming any point on the curve we take a uh, we normally take the parametric form, right? So here, if you observe, uh, our a square is equal to 25, or you can say a is 5, and uh, b square is 16, so uh, b is equal to 4, right? So we take this point p as a cos theta, that is 5 cos theta, 5 cos theta, and b sin theta, that is 4 sin theta. Now, let me remind you what is the theta. This theta is not this angle from center to point P. This will be corresponding point on the auxiliary circle. When we join that point from auxiliary circle to the center, then the angle formed will be our theta. So, okay, don't uh, start that point here. But uh, since uh, I have written this in parametric form, I thought to uh, remind you. So, uh, this will be our coordinates of this point okay now i have to find i have to find the this uh, area of this triangle so let me drop one perpendicular here on this uh, major axis of this triangle right and it is 90 degree here so if you see if you see what will be the area like what will be the area of triangle of triangle p s s test right and this is uh, let me write this area uh, mention this area as a it will be equal to half times base so base means what s into s dash and into height so you can name it you can name this point as uh, point m right so in this I am writing it as PM. Okay. And uh, what will be this S into H dash? Distance between the focuses. Distance between the two focuses for this triangle. It will be basically 2 times AE. Normally what we write, the coordinates of S is basically A e comma 0. Right. A e comma zero and the coordinates of S dash is minus A e comma zero. Hope this is uh, known to you. So the S S dash is equal to two times of A e. Now A is five, but what is E? What is E? So we know A square is equal to one minus of B square upon A square. Here in this case, A is greater than B, right? This A is greater than B. So 1 minus b square means what? 16 upon a square is 25. So uh, this will be 25 minus 16, uh, 9, right? So basically the value of e is 3 by 5, okay? So uh, the distance between the focuses will be equal to 2a. What is a? a is 5. What is e? e is 3 by 5. So 5, 5 will get cancelled out. This will be 6, right? So our area triangle A will be equal to half into 6 into PM. This height, right? Now, what is this height? This will be the Y coordinate. This PM will be equal to Y coordinate, right? And what is the Y coordinate of this point P? This is 4 sine theta, right? So now I'm writing PM as 4 sine theta. So this will be nothing but 2, 3 is our 6. So 3 into 4 are 
3 into 4 will be 12 sin theta. So this is the area of triangle. 12 times sin theta. 12 times sin theta, right? Now, we need to maximize this area. We need to maximize this area. So what should I do? I will differentiate this area with respect to theta. So dA upon d theta will be equal to 12 times of cos theta, right? And for maximum or minimum, what we do, we put this dA upon d theta equals to zero. So basically what we do, cos theta is equals to zero. For that, we have theta is equal to 90 degree. Is it okay? Now, this can be the point of maxima or this can be the point of minima. So what I will do, I will double differentiate it. So this will be d square a upon d theta square. This will be equal to minus 12 sine theta. Now put the value of theta here. So it will be at theta is equals to 90 degree. This is coming out to be negative. Right? This will come out to be at theta equal to 90 degrees. The double differentiation will be negative. Hence, this value is this point is the point of maxima. This will be point of maxima. And this is what we need. So at theta equal to 90 degree, at theta equal to 90 degree, A will be maximum. The area will be maximum, right? So basically, what does it mean? this theta has to be on the minor axis, right? This point P, this point P has to be on this uh, minor axis. But let me remind you once again, this is not the theta. This point O, O, P, angle O, P, X, angle O, P, and uh, S, you can say, O, P, S is not theta. What is theta? The point on the corresponding point of P on the auxiliary circle. So at theta 90 degree, A will be maximum. And what will be the value of A? What will be the value of A? We know A is equals to 12 sine theta. So area will be, or we can say maximum area will be 12 sine 90. That is equal to 12 square unit, right? This will be our final answer. So maximum area will be at theta equal to 90 degree and the value, the numerical value of that area will be 12 square units, right? So this is our option A. Hence option A is correct for this one. Now coming to the next one, let's read what this question is saying. If S and S dash are the foci of an ellipse of major axis of length 10 units and P is any point on the ellipse such that the perimeter of the triangle PSS is 15 units then the eccentricity of the ellipse is. Okay, so this is also a nice question and we will be seeing one another definition of ellipse through this question. We can uh, figure it out. Okay, let me first draw. Let me uh, just draw one uh, rough sketch for this. Oh. Yeah, this is our ellipse. Okay. And what I have to do. Mm. Okay. So, if so only this major axis i need i need only this major axis okay now what is the point s and s dash are the foci so this is our point s okay uh, this is our point s and suppose this is our point s dash these are the foci of the ellipse, right? And P is any point on the ellipse. So let me assume this point. Let me assume this point 
P on the ellipse, right? Such that the perimeter of P is S. Okay, means the question is asking to make one triangle joining the points. This P is S, right? Okay, so uh, let's join these points. So this, this, and this point. So this is triangle. Okay, so basically if you see P is any point on the ellipse and uh, the perimeter of this triangle, right? The perimeter of triangle. So let me write what is the given information in question. So a perimeter of triangle P S S dash is given to be 15 units. Okay. This one information is given and uh, the length of major axis is also known to us. So a uh, length of major axis. So this length of major axis is 2A and that is also known to us that is 10 units. So these two informations we are provided with. And we have to find the eccentricity of the ellipse. We have to find the eccentricity of ellipse. So, if you know the sum, like, the sum of this SP, sum of SP means uh, joining the point on the ellipse with one focus, and joining the same point with another focus, right? That is the uh, second focus that S dash P. S dash P is a constant for any constant. This is valid or true, you can say true for all the ellipse. True for all the ellipse. And this constant, this constant is equals to the value of this constant is equals to major axis, right? This value of constant is equals to major axis. So this, if this thing, if this information is known to you, you will be able to crack this question. So whether you know it or not, I don't know, but in the same way, we can define the uh, ellipse also. So what is an ellipse? Like ellipse is the locus of this point P, locus of point P, right? Whose uh, sum of whose distances from the two points, sum of whose distances from the two fixed points is equal to constant. And that constant should be greater than the distance between the two fixed points. Like this constant, this constant should must be, this constant should must be greater than, this constant should must be greater than S S dash. So I'm talking about the distance, right? This constant should must be greater than S S dash, like this distance. Okay, so uh, in this way, we can define the, uh, we can give the another definition of ellipse, right? So hope it is clear to all. Now, uh, in the question it is saying, in the question it is saying, uh, the perimeter of uh, triangle PSS, right? So if you see this SP, this is one of the side of the triangle, this H dash P, right? This H dash P and plus S H dash should be, uh, this is given to be equal to 15. Right now, this SP plus H dash P as per given information, what we have uh, written here, this should be equal to major axis. Means what? This will be equal to two A. And what is this distance? S distance between this S and H dash. This will be two times A. Right? The distance between two focuses. This is equal to fifteen. Now we can take two a common from here and we will be left with one plus a. 
and that will be equal to 15. So now we know the value of this 2a also. So let's put it out. So uh, from here, if you see 1 plus e will be equal to 15 upon 2a, that is 10, right? So from here, we get e is equals to uh, 3 by 2, right? Minus 1. So 1 by 1.5 minus 1, that is 0. 0.5. That is E is equals to 1 by 2. Right? So, uh, but we are not having this option 1 by 2. So, please check it out whether uh, we have done some mistake or what. So, taking 2A common. Okay, okay. It is there. No, it is there in option A. Oh, so option A is correct. 2a we have taken common 1 plus e 1 plus e will be equal to 15 upon 10 that is 3 by 2 minus 1 yeah it is okay so option a is correct so this question number 12 is done okay now we have entered into this uh, subjective part right so let me have some water first Yeah. So uh, please have a look at this. Find the lattice rectum eccentricity coordinates, vertices, axis, center of ellipse. Okay. So one ellipse is given here, and we have to find all the uh, this information about this uh, ellipse. So let me write it first. So it is basically four x square plus nine y square. Uh, minus 8x minus 36y uh, plus 4 equal to 0. So my uh, target will be to uh, make it in form of uh, standard ellipse, like a standard form of ellipse. I will try to make it in the standard form. So I will take common from these x terms. What can we take common from here? Uh, we can take 4 common, right? And uh, this will be x square, x square minus 2x. Is it okay? And from here, we can take 9 common. So we will be left with 9 is, uh, 9y square and uh, minus 4y. Is it okay? And this plus 4, I will take it to uh, right hand side. So this will be minus 4, right? Now, what I will do, uh, I will try to make these things as the perfect square, right? I will try to make these things as the perfect square. Then only I can approach to uh, standard form, right? So this will be four times um, x square minus 2x plus 1, right? And this will be 9 times y square minus 4y uh, plus 4. So what we have added here, we have added generally uh, actually four here, not one. It will be multiplied by four. No, so minus four was there from uh, last step as it is plus four, and here we have added thirty six. So thirty six plus four, we have actually added forty. So we have added forty in the right hand side also. Now, if you observe here, it becomes our x minus a whole square. Uh, plus 9 into y minus 2 whole square and that will be equal to this plus 4 minus 4 will get cancelled out this will be 36 only right now divide uh, both sides by 36 what we will get we will have x minus a whole square upon 9 plus uh, y minus 2 whole square upon 4 is equal to 1 right so from this equation we have changed the form of ellipse and we got it as a standard form, right? Now we can say, now we can compare with, compare it with our standard form of ellipse that is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1, right? Now we will compare it. 
compare it with our standard ellipse, right? So let me bifurcate it. And so one thing, if you observe, one thing is very common, like very uh, usual. What is the center? What is the center for this ellipse? This will be one comma two, right? Because this for this circle, this x minus one should be equal to zero. So from here we got x is equal to one, and uh, y minus two should be equal to zero. So from here we get y is equals to two. So this is the this is the center of our ellipse. Center of ellipse. I think. Uh, center is asked for this question right so we uh, got this center of ellipse okay now what can we uh, find next comparing uh, it with our standard one we see here a square is equal to 9 right and uh, b square is equal to 4 so here you see a is greater than b so it will be basically a horizontal ellipse horizontal ellipse okay so what next? We can uh, find the eccentricity, right? We can find the eccentricity. So e square will be equal to 1 minus b square upon a square. So 1 minus what is b square? b square is uh, 4. And what is a square? a square is 9. So this will be basically 5 upon 9. So e square is uh, 9 minus 4, 5 upon 9. So we got eccentricity as uh, root 5, root 5 upon 3. So this will be our value of E, that is eccentricity. Right? Now we got the center, we got the eccentricity. What else we can uh, figure it uh, now? So uh, should we draw the ellipse first? Okay, uh, let me let me draw that. So this will be our horizontal ellipse and uh, this will be our axis, right? And uh, so this is our eccentricity. Where will be our focus? Our focus will be somewhere here. Our one focus and our other focus will be somewhere here. Now, what is the center for this center is, if you see the center of this uh, ellipse is at which point? 1 comma 2, right? The coordinates of center is basically 1 comma 2. So, this major axis, if you observe, this is our major axis, no? since this is the horizontal ellipse, because A is greater than B. So uh, basically our major axis is y equal to 2. y equal to 2 is will be our major axis. Right? So the y coordinate of both focuses will be 2. y coordinate of both the focuses will be equal to 2. That is sure. Now we have to figure out the x coordinate of the focuses. Now, how to find it? If you know for any standard ellipse, the distance between this, the distance between focus and center is A, right? Is A. So if you see the coordinates of S, the coordinates of S will be 1 plus A, comma, the y coordinate will be common y coordinate will be 2 why because this the focus will lie on the major axis uh, major axis itself and what is the major axis major axis is y equal to 2 in this case in this particular case now we know the value of a we know the value of e so we can easily figure figure it out the uh, coordinates of s now why 1 is added that uh, if you see the center itself is 1 no the center itself is one. If it if it would have been zero comma zero, it would have been a. But since it is a one, the x coordinate of center is one. 
so it will be added on so basically this s will be 1 plus a e right comma 2 and uh, what will be our s dash s dash will be nothing but 1 minus a e comma 2 right now what is a e if you see uh, what will be the value of a e so our a is 3 so a e will be basically uh, 3 into root 5 upon 3 so this will be equal to root 5 only okay so we got the coordinates of s as we got the coordinates of s as 1 plus root 5 comma 2 and uh, the second uh, focus coordinates will be 1 minus root 5 upon uh, comma 2 so this is our focus coordinates of focus so we got the center uh, we got the eccentricity coordinates of foci we got co coordinates of vertices coordinates of vertices right so vertices basically this a and a dash is called the uh, vertices like where the ellipse is intersecting with the major axis that points are called as vertices right so the coordinates of a will be for our standard case for our standard case the coordinates of a used to be a comma 0 right and uh, a dash used to be uh, minus a comma 0 right so in this case what will be the case so basically this distance this ca distance no the ca if you observe this ca should be equal to a this a ca should be equal to a now what is a here ca will be this distance will be equal to a and we know the value of a as we know the value of a as 3 from here we already know this value of a as 3 so this will be 3 this ca distance will be uh, 3 so our uh, coordinates of a will be the coordinates of a will be 1 plus 3 right so this will be 4 comma 2 and what will be the coordinates of a dash again this ca uh, c a dash should also be equal to 3 right this c a dash should also be equal to 3 so a dash will be uh, minus 2 right? uh, x coordinate will be minus 2 and y coordinate will be 2 because y coordinate is not changing y coordinate is the focal uh, major axis and uh, that is y equal to 2 so we got the coordinates of vertices also right we got the coordinates of vertices also now what a, what we are left out with if you see latest rectum no okay so latest rectum if you see latest rectum will be 2 times b square upon a so this will be 2 times what is b square b square is 4 and uh, what is a a is 3 so let us rectum the length of let us rectum will be equal to 8 by 3 units okay so let us rectum also we uh, got eccentricity is root 5 by 3 coordinates of foci we have given coordinates of vertices we got length of the axis okay so length of axis if you see major axis major axis the length of major axis will be equal to 2 times a that will be equal to 2 into 3 that is 6 units and uh, our minor axis will be equal to 2 2 b so 2 into b what is b b is equal to 2 right so 2 into 2 4 units so this will be the length of axis and center we have uh, initially find it out so for the given ellipse, we have achieved all the required values. So hope this is clear to all. What I have done, I have first uh, changed, like I have first changed the equation into a nice looking form or we can say a standard uh, form so that we can compare with our, with our standard form of circle, uh, standard form of ellipse, right? So this is what okay few there are four or five questions more
okay anyhow i will uh, complete it by today only so uh, next question question number 14 it is saying the distance between the foci of an ellipse is 10 okay and its lattice rectum length is 15 so find its equation referred to its axis as axis of the coordinates okay so the axis of the ellipse is our coordinate axis it is mentioned in the question itself so let me write let me assume let me assume let the ellipse be let the ellipse be x square upon a square okay plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 because it is given that the uh, coordinate axis are the axis for this uh, ellipse now what are the given informations the distance between foci of an ellipse so distance between foci is 2 ae and it is given to be 10 so this is one information what we got and the other information is its lattice rectum the length of lattice rectum is two times b square upon a is given to be 15 right and uh, we have to find the equation of the ellipse so okay what can we do this is if you see here this ae is equal to 5 right and a we can write it as a square minus b square this is equal to 5 now we square it it will be a square minus b square is equal to 25 right and uh, from this equation what we get 2b square 2b square is equal to 15a 2b square is equal to 15a and uh, okay so basically we can make a quadratic we can make a quadratic in a or b so this a square minus 25 will be equal to b square what i will do i will put this value here i will put this value here so this will be two times what is b square this is a square minus 25 minus 15a is equals to 0. So this becomes 2a square uh, minus 15a and minus of 50 equal to 0, right? So 15 to 200, 20 and 5, we can split the middle term. So 2a square minus 20a plus 5a minus 50 equal to 0. So 2a, a minus 10 plus 5 into a minus 10 is equals to 0. So a minus 10 into 2a plus 5 equal to 0. So from here we get two values of a. a is equals to 10 and a is equals to minus of 5 by 2. Right. So this is what we got the values of a. So uh, say when a is equals to 10, when a is equals to 10, what will be our b square? So from here we give, we take 2b square is equal to uh, 15 into a, a means 10. So from here we get b square is equal to uh, 5, 15 into 5, that is 75. So from here we get b square is equal to 75 when a is equals to 10 and when a is equals to minus 5 by 2 uh, we get b square is equals to 2 times b square is equal to 15 into a that is minus 5 by 2 that is uh, we get b square is equals to minus 75 upon 4 that is not possible so rejected so b square cannot be negative no so uh, basically this value will be rejected so what will be our equation so our equation becomes 
this this is what we uh, supposed right initially the equation of the uh, parabola so this will be x square upon a square so if a is 10 what will be our a square it will be 100 and uh, plus y square upon b square is 75 that is equals to 1 right so this will be our answer this will be our answer. If you further want to expand it, you can do what will be the LCM of 175? It will be 300. So check LCM 300. It will be 3x square uh, plus 4y square is equals to 1. Or you can say 3x square plus 4y square is equal to 300. Same. Both these equations represent the same circle, uh, same ellipse. So you can live here also or you can expand. It's up to you. So this will be our equation of the ellipse. This will be our equation of ellipse. Now coming to the next question. It is saying find the equation of the ellipse. Okay. Again, we have to find uh, the equation of ellipse whose axes are parallel to the coordinate axis. Having its center at the point this. 2 comma minus 3, one focus at this point and one vertex at this point. So this time if you uh, notice, uh, here the coordinate axis are not the axis of the ellipse. Now the axis of the ellipse are parallel to the coordinate axis. Okay. So like, let me draw one uh, ellipse. Okay. For better understanding of this question. So... Basically, this is the ellipse given here. And uh, since uh, its coordinate axis are parallel, no? Its coordinate axis means coordinate axis are parallel to this. And its focus is 2 comma minus 3, right? 2 comma minus 3. So basically, its center will lie in fourth quadrant. So I can draw a coordinate axis in this way. Is it okay? So if you see what I have done, this is our x axis. Okay. And uh, this is our y axis or you can say y dash axis. And this is our fourth quadrant. Basically, this is our fourth quadrant. Why uh, this will be fourth quadrant? Because its center of the ellipse is given to be 2 comma minus 3, right? So let me uh, write this center as O and its coordinate is given as 2 comma minus 3. And since its uh, axis is parallel, right, its axis is parallel uh, to the coordinate axis, it will be, uh, if you observe the, uh, where does this focus lie? Like one focus is given here, no? The one focus whose coordinates is 3 comma minus 3 and one vertices is also uh, given here. So let me write it as A. Its vertices, the coordinates is given as 4 comma minus 3. So basically if you observe this line is, uh, this line is major axis because this vertices, this vertice, verti, uh, this vertices, and uh, we take the uh, vertices of ellipse as the point of intersection of ellipse and major axis. One more uh, hint is given here. The focus lies on the major axis itself. The focus should lie on the major axis itself. Hence, we can conclude that it will be a horizontal ellipse. So I hope it is uh, clear to all. So our major axis is nothing but y is equals to y is equals to minus 3. What is this line? This is y is equals to minus 3. So this will be our major axis. Now what is asked in the question? We have to find the equation of the ellipse. We have to find the equation of the ellipse. So basically, this will be an ellipse with shifted origin. This will be ellipse This will be ellipse with shifted origin, right? 
Now, for shifted origin, how can we write the equation of ellipse? It will be x minus 2 whole squared, right, upon a square and plus y minus this thing. So y plus 3 whole squared, y plus 3 whole squared upon b square and that should be equal to 1. I have, I have written it in the standard form itself, right? So uh, this will be our equation of ellipse. Now, if we can find the value of this a and b or a square and b square, we can easily do the question. We can easily write the equation. So if you see, if you observe uh, the, this distance, what is this distance OS? The x coordinate of O is 2 and it is 3. So this distance is 1, right? This distance is 1 unit. And uh, if you observe this thing, this distance between S and A, the x coordinate of S is 3 and the x coordinate of A is 4. So this is also 1 unit basically. Right? So what can we say? What can we conclude from here? This OA, if you see, this OA is major axis. This OA is major axis. And uh, what is this distance OA? This will be 2, right? This 1 unit plus 1 unit, this will be equal to 2. And uh, this will be equal to length of major axis. Okay, basically it is not major axis, it is semi-major axis, or you can say half of major axis. Half of major axis, right? Why? Because this A, A dash will be major axis. This A, A dash will be major axis. And, uh, but this OA will be half of major axis. So major axis will be 2a into half. So basically we got the value of a. The value of a is 2, right? The value of a is 2. Now we found this value a. We have to find the value of b now. How can we uh, derive? How can we get the value of b? So what can we do? What can we do here? Do we know the eccentricity? If you see this OS, no? This OS distance will be equal to A, right? And what is this OS distance? This is 1 and uh, A is 2. E means 2E. A, we got this value E. So from here, we got eccentricity as 1 by 2. Right? Now, what will be the eccentricity? Eccentricity squared is equal to 1 minus B square, 1 minus B square upon A square. So E square will be uh, 1 by 4. Okay? 1 by 4 is equals to 1 minus B square upon a square. a square we can write it as 4. So from here if you see b square upon 4 will be equal to uh, 1 minus 1 by 4 will be 3 by 4. Okay. So from here we get b square is equal to 3. So if this is known we can easily write the equation. What will be our equation of ellipse? x minus 2 whole squared upon a square a square is 4 this is a we need to find we need to write a square and uh, this will be y plus 3 whole square upon b square b square is 3 so this will be equal to 1 so uh, this will be the required equation of ellipse now again if you want to expand you want to open the uh, squares and write it you can do but i am living here only I'm leaving here only yeah, further you can do it by itself yeah, yourself okay so this ellipse is uh, 
with the shifted vertex, uh, shifted origin, right? Generally, we deal with uh, uh, center as the uh, center, or uh, origin as the center, but this we will be having with shifted origin. And for shifted origin, this will be our approach to write the equation of uh, ellipse. So question number 15 is done. Now let's take the next one. Find the equation of ellipse. Again, we have to write the equation of ellipse whose foci are this and this and uh, whose uh, semi minor axis is root 5. Okay. So basically distance between distance between foci are given. So what will be the distance of foci? So this is 2a distance between the focus and uh, what will be the distance if you observe the y coordinates of both the foci are 3 right so from here you can see y equal to 3 will be your major axis since y coordinate is not changing for both the focuses it will be horizontal it will be horizontal horizontal ellipse we can say so we can write it as we can assume the equation of ellipse as x square upon a square uh, plus y now whether the center is origin or not that we have to see so should i draw okay let me let me draw this A rough sketch for this uh, ellipse okay so i think this will be also the case of shifted center why because uh, this uh, one focus is given as this is our uh, focus first focus it's uh, it is given as 2 comma 3 right it's, it will this focus will be in the first quadrant and uh, this is our a dash right and whose coordinates are uh, minus 2 comma 3 minus 2 comma 3 so this is our major axis y equal to 3 right this line y equal to 3 will be our major axis now let me take this point as o which is the center of this ellipse so this o should be the midpoint of this right o should be o will be the midpoint midpoint of s s dash right midpoint of s s dash so can we find uh, can we find the coordinates of o so the coordinates of o will be uh, minus 2 plus 2 upon 2 and uh, 3 plus 3 upon 2 so the coordinates of o will be basically 0 upon 3 right so the coordinates of o will be 0 upon 3 so we are having this thing so we know the center of the ellipse right and one more information is given here. One more information is given here. From here, if you see semi minor axis, semi minor axis. So 2b is our minor axis. And what will be semi means it's half. So half of 2b is given to be root 5. So basically, we know the value of b. b is equals to root 5. Okay. And uh, here if you see, here if you see, this O S, O S will be equals to uh, O S, the distance O S is equal to 2, right? And uh, this will be equal to A times E. A times E. So should, uh, can we uh, find the value of E? So, okay. A E O S, the distance O S will be A E, okay, and that is equal to two. 
so but how can we find here like what information we can take out from here this os is given to be 2 so our uh, a will be equal to 2 okay so one okay let me So one thing is sure, the center is known, no? So let me write the equation of ellipse. Okay, let me first write the equation of ellipse. So x minus zero whole square, that will be x square upon a square. I don't know the value of a till now. Now, uh, what will be the y coordinate of center? It is minus three, uh, sorry, three. So we have to write this y minus three whole square and upon b square okay b square we know b square is equal to 5 it is given in the question itself so y minus 3 whole squared upon 5 is equals to 1 so only thing where we are uh, stacking is this a so how to find the value of a how to find the value of a so we got the center okay and uh, this a e is equals to 2 okay this is y equal to 3 no so this o a let me take this point as a okay so this will be o a will be equal to basically o a will be equal to a right but how to find the uh, coordinate of a then A, a, this is actually actually uh, this video is getting longer no so i mean uh, okay just uh, let me uh, have some water first Okay, got it. Pani pine se samaj aagya. Arey, bahut din. It is uh, almost. I think it is almost two hours uh, for this video. Anyhow, this a no. This a we can write it as uh, under root of a square uh, minus b square, and that is equal to two. Okay, now we square it. Uh, we will have a square minus b square is equal to four. Now we know the value of b square. That is five. So a square minus 5 is equals to 4. So our a square will be equal to 9. 5 plus 4, 9. So finally our equation of ellipse become x square upon a square that is 9 and plus y minus 3 whole square upon b square. b square is 5 that is equal to 1. So this will be our equation of ellipse. Now again if you want to expand open the uh, squares and expand it it's up to you so yeah we are done with this question i think how many questions are left for this two questions we are having two more questions right for this uh, for this exercise so what is given here so that the equation this represents an ellipse and find the eccentricity of the ellipse. Okay, so one equation is given here and we have to show that this equation is an ellipse. So let me write the equation first. 10 times 10x minus 5 whole square plus 10y minus 5 whole square is equal to 3x plus 4y minus 1 whole square. Now what can we do? Again, we uh, we should take uh, the basic, basic of our ellipse. Like, okay, take this 5 common here. 
we will have five squared will uh, get out means comes out of the bracket so uh, this will be 25 5 this 2x minus 1 whole squared again we can take 5 common so after coming out of the bracket it will become 25 and 2y minus 1 whole squared is equal to 3x plus 4y minus 1 whole squared let it uh, the expression in the right hand side let it be as it is so again what i will do i will take two common from here and i will put this 25 to this right hand side so uh, two if i take two common i will get x minus uh, 1 by 2 whole squared plus 4 into y minus 1 by 2 whole squared and that will be equal to 3x plus 4y minus 5 this 25 I am putting here, this 25 I am taking common, I am putting here, right? So this will be basically 5, I can write it as 5 and this whole square. Okay, so further what we can say, this will be x minus half squared plus y minus half squared. Again, I will take this 4 and 4 to this side. So this will be 1 by 4. Okay, and uh, 3x plus 4y minus 1 upon 5 whole squared. So seeing this expression, you can assume that this thing, the things written in the left hand side will be a distance, right? A distance from any point, half comma half is squared. Okay, and this distance will be basically uh, any perpendicular distance from this uh, line from this line 3x plus 4y minus 1, right? So, uh, and this thing, this ratio is uh, less than 1. So, this we can interpret it, uh, this we can interpret it as uh, sp. So, s is the point, okay? So, this will be sp square is equal to 1 by 4, okay? into pm ka square okay so basically you can write in this way also 1 by 2 whole square what i mean to say there is one point okay let me draw this ellipse so this is this is one any point s okay and uh, this is any point P, this is any point P, and this is uh, any line X. So what I am saying, this SP square, this distance. So this distance, this focus will be, the coordinates of this focus, I am assuming it as half comma half, right? The coordinates of this focus is half comma half, then only this SP square, let me assume this point P as X comma Y, okay? Let me assume this point as P as x comma y and uh, this line as 3x plus 4y, 3x plus 4y minus 1 equal to 0. And let me write this distance PM. Now compare this. Compare group. If you compare this, if you compare this, okay, let me write it neatly. So it will be basically 1 by 2. So if you compare it, it represents an ellipse. It represents an ellipse. It represents an ellipse. Okay. And what will be its eccentricity? What will be its eccentricity? Its eccentricity, if you see here, E square is coming out to be uh, e square is coming out to be uh, 1 by 4, okay? Or you can say E is equals to 1 by 2, which is less than, which is less than 1 and greater than 0. Which is less than 1 and greater than 0. So is this what question is asking? So that the equation represents an ellipse and find the eccentricity of the ellipse. Okay, uh, we can uh, further find the value. What? We can further find the 
value of a and b also so here if you see it it is representing an uh, ellipse why because the distance between any point okay and uh, the ratio if you see uh, if you further write it as the ratio how to define how do we define no this thing this distance upon distance from a point and distance from a line is equals to e and uh, e is less than uh, e is less than 1 so obvious it's obvious that it will represent an ellipse so i think we are proof uh, like we are we have done the uh, proof the, for this question so we don't uh, need to go further so since e is between uh, 0 to 1 and this uh, ratio of these two distances this same thing you can write it as sp square upon pm square is equal to e square same thing nothing and no changes we have just squared it so okay i'm not uh, giving much time on this so let me take this uh, last question this will be uh, our last question for this exercise so question number 18 it is saying find the locus of the extremities of the lattice rectum of the family of ellipses so uh, family of ellipses is given as b square x square plus y square is equal to a square into b square so let me divide it by a square b square uh, b square throughout we will get x square upon a square right b square will get cancelled out plus y square upon a square b square is equal to 1. So this is what we got. So if you compare it with our standard ellipse, x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. Now what will be, what is asked, we have to find the locus of the extremities of the lattice rectum. So uh, for this, for this, uh, what is the lattice rectum? Basically, lattice rectum, the extremities of lattice rectum will be plus minus uh, AE, right? The X coordinate. And what will be the Y coordinate? Uh, y coordinate will be plus minus B square upon A. Right? For this, the uh, extremities of lattice rectum will be this. Now, for this thing, for this, what will be the extremities of lattice rectum? The extremities of lattice rectum for this will be uh, plus minus A. A is same here. So it will be AE and uh, plus minus B. What is B? B square here is A square B square actually. So it will be A square B square uh, upon A. So A is A square. Or we can say A is same, no? So A. So uh, the extremities of lattice rectum, and since we have to find the, its, uh, what you say, uh, locus, so I will uh, write it as H, okay? And I will write this thing as K. Is it okay? Now we have to find the uh, locus of the extremity. So what can we uh, write for the um, H? Or we can say this uh, H we can write as we can write H as plus minus A. Is it okay? And further what we can do we can uh, like we also need to have this K also right. So what can we do and K if you see what is K this a and a will get cancelled out no? one a will uh, will be gone so this k will be basically plus minus a b square okay so this will be our a b square now from here if you see i can write the value of k or substitute the value of a Whatever you want to do, you can do. So this is the two relations basically. These are the two relations and you can easily find the uh, locus. Okay. You can do anything. No, like uh, you can write uh, this thing. Uh, 
this h square can be written as what h square we can write it as a square into e square right and further we can write uh, this e square can uh, we can write it as uh, a square minus b square right a square uh, minus b square upon a square right so a square a square will get cancelled out and uh, this uh, we are left out with h square is equal to this thing uh, a square minus b square now uh, we can what we can do since the value of k is a b square no so a b square means what we can multiply by a throughout so this will be a h square is equals to a cube uh, minus a b square minus a b square why i am uh, multiplying a so that i can uh, replace this value k so this will be a h square is equal to a cube minus a b square can be written as k okay so in this way you can uh, derive any relation i am not going in detail okay so this will be a x square is equal to a cube uh, minus y something like this will be our locus right something like this will be our locus so i am not going in the details i am stopping uh, here only so i think this is the last question right okay yeah thank you so uh, we have completed this first exercise of ellipse okay and uh, we will uh, soon uh, meet once again with the next exercise of this conic that is ellipse so till then uh, take care of yourself and keep uh, practicing a lot of questions be motivated okay so uh, thank you all thank you